Locally, an organization is doing its part to promote peace and assist the community in social uplifting. Ileana Capian joins us live in studio tonight to tell us more. Good evening, Ileana. Good evening, Paige. The Islamic Community Outreach Program is a group in Dothan working to increase peace among people in the Wiregrass, especially during these times of riots, protest, and separation. We don't uh, have a problem with po police. Our problem is with corruption. So the problem is anytime you have corruption inside of an organization, that has to be weeded out. In the case of George Floyd, Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin violated many of the Minneapolis Police Department's policies. But in recent days, police officers have been seen protesting hand in hand with members of the Black Lives Matter movement. There are more police officers marching with the protesters. Now we're against looting. We're against uh, any vandalism. That's not what this is about. It takes the focus off what's important. With over 800,000 active police officers in the United States, Oliver says he doesn't believe the problem to be all police officers. So we know there's only a few, but what we have to do is purge that. We have to get that out. They were the same way with the looters and the rioting. We have to purge that from among us in order to give the true message of what we're actually trying to do. It's about peace. It's about justice and freedom and equality. Oliver says that the Quran teaches if you see a wrongdoing, you change it with your hands, meaning do something to change the situation. Get out to vote, have hard conversations, make changes in a positive way. This is going to take work. This is going to take sitting down and bringing everybody to the table, having conversations that produce real change. And Paige, during a time of such racial separation in our community, the Islamic Community Outreach Program says we need to come together and rectify the injustice issues at hand. Good information to think about tonight. Thank you very much, Eliana.